Hello, I'm Hayato Sekine from Japan. What comes to your mind when you hear Japan? Sushi? Samurai? Anime? Or maybe hibachi? I'm going to introduce you such as Japanese culture, food, and sports. So I hope you guys will become interested in Japan after listening to this presentation. There are almost 130 million people in Japan, and Japan is located in east coast of Asia. So, Japan is known as a safety country and has one of the lowest crime rate, rate in the world. So, if you drop your wallet on the roadside, somebody else around you would pick it up and give you back soon. Or somebody would take it to the police, so if you lost something in Japan, don't worry, it will back to you. And Japanese people cherish respect, humility, and politeness. Yeah, this is our personality. Also, Japan has many transportation systems, such as train, bus, and subway. So that if you come to Japan without car, don't worry. You will be able to visit wherever place you want easily, except Bali countryside. So what do you think? What makes Japan unique? So let's move on to talk about Japanese food. This is called sushi. Even if you are not a big fan of the raw fish, I think you will like it, the taste. Because this is good. And this is called ramen. It tastes awesome. There are a bunch of tastes and ramen, such as salt, miso, pork, chicken, seafood, and soy sauce, so on. So if you like noodles, I'm pretty sure you will like it. This is one of the traditional food, rice bowl. As you saw it, it made by rice and have some ingredients inside. In this picture, they are not inside though. If you come to Japan, let's try a lot of kind of food. Maybe you can find your favorite of a lifetime. I would like to introduce you about Japanese toilet from now. It might sound weird, but we have many options in a Japanese restaurant. And it give us it give us comfort time. There are seat heater and dryer, and we have the things called washlets in Japanese restaurant. So this is like this. It is water spray. Is it funny? If you have an opportunity to use Japanese restaurant, I would like you to try it. You would be surprised. In our culture, bowing is an important thing to show respect, gratitude, and to apologize. So I'm going to introduce you about tourist spot in Japan. The good thing of Japan is wherever you go, there are a bunch of spots that you can enjoy, Japanese culture and articles. This is public bathing, hot spring, and we, we take a bath together with naked. Of course, most of the bath is separated by gender, and I know it would be embarrassed for falling tourists, but you know what? Taking a bath makes you comfort physically and mentally also. So if you have a chance to get it one day, don't miss it. You might be able to take a bath with wild monkey, maybe. It's like this, wow. If you hear Japan, maybe samurai come up with your mind. So this is called Shirakawago, the beautiful traditional village which is designated as UNESCO World Heritage State. So it was made 300 years ago. So it means they have been exist since samurai era. This is called Kinkakuji, as known as Golden Pavilion. If you visit Kyoto, you can see a lot of temples like this. And 
you can see the different view in each season in Japan. It's like spring, summer, and fall, and winter. But if if I were you, I would choose spring season to come to Japan because it's comfortable weather and you can see cherry blossom at a place. So I like spring. Do you know that we were supposed to host Olympic game in Tokyo this year, but because of such a situation, it was postponed next year and we still don't know we will be able to do it. 2021. So I'll show you this video to wish we could do it next year.この場所で世界中から集まったアスリートと その でも、この I will be happy if you find any interesting things of Japan. Thank you for listening. Arigato.